לא היינה, למה כי היא הפליקונה כל הרקע פאפה מוקו היינה. I wanted to uh, reflect a little bit about the intensity of today and, and also to really talk about a little bit about how critical it is for us to learn from the lessons and from the mistakes and, and, and from the great challenges that people have had elsewhere. Uh, and in particular, I'd like to bring, if people in, in Hawaii and, 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 the, and uh, Kapai Aina and our struggles throughout Pacific uh, want to learn about critical analysis, about how uh, power is utilized against our people, I think that we really need to study uh, an amazing and incredible great mind and author named Fanon. And what he did was he studied, he was he was a doctor who studied uh, the torture under the Al- Al- Algerian, uh, under at Al- in Algeria, under the French. And he really looked at how they took over and how it wasn't just a, a physical force. It wasn't just a... Um, it wasn't just guns and arms and ammo it was also a psychological co-optation of the of the local community and and i and i really think it's really important to put the context of coco palms in because you know i think it's really difficult when we see uh our own people attacking our own people and for those of you who uh they haven't seen it yet you can take a look at my timeline. Today, uh, the lineal descendants of uh, an area called Wailua, who've been fighting up against uh, the big developer in Coco Palms, uh, which was actually, you know, Elvis's former playground on Kauai, uh, they are the lineal descendants of traditional landholders uh, that have been fighting for years, years to get the Aina back, uh, and utilizing a wide variety of tactics, including Aloha Aina in the courts, um, in social media, and, uh, and, and, and just being true brothers and sisters, taking care of each other, uh, living a Kanakamali lifestyle, taking care of the community, taking care of the people. They've been there and and they also use genealogical cultural ties. They use their traditions, their prayers, their their um their ceremonies. Uh they work with the community. It's it's a very incredibly powerful, powerful movement that is currently also winning in the courts right now because uh for those of you who don't know about traditional uh, land titles is when they took the when they did the illegal overthrow of our land here in Hawaii, uh they're they weren't able to fully erase our, our, our the, the strength of our ali and the strength of our of our uh, traditions and the strength of our laws and because of that we have a lot of land that is still incredibly under contest and traditionally we have the rights to if we just only know how to access it and these guys did their homework and they really know what they're doing and you know what they're winning and what did they do they brought in other kanaka Maoli to try and take them out other Kanaka Maoli who are struggling with the same challenges, who love the Aina, who love their community, who want to get the land back, who want to get independence back. They brought them in. Tyler Green, the developer, brought in a Kanaka Maoli hui. Hard. Aimful to watch that. Breaks your heart when you see your own people putting down our own people who are fighting for survival, for for really, for all of us to lay claim back to our lands and to bring them back home for all of our people. They are, they, they are literally calling out every single de- de- descendant. The, the Wailua Kane are calling out to every single descendant. If you are interested in laying claim to these lands, that you can come and join in. And here you have a supposed chief pulled in by a Haole developer and then calling our Kanaka racist for the fact, identifying the fact that he is siding with the oppressor. How painfully tragic and sad that is. And it hurts her heart. Yeah, all right. I, Pole Christie, court tomorrow's at 8.30 in Lihui, Kauai, if anyone can come and support. But the problem is, this isn't an isolated incident. When Queen Liliuokalani was imprisoned, there are Hawaiians sitting on the steps of the court of Iolani Palace who welcomed those usurpers. 
there were a few Kanaka who were there. You know, every arrest that we have that take away our people in handcuffs. Ron Fanon identified these people as a copper class. It's a necessary fact of colonization and occupation. If it was all them versus us, they'd never be able to feed us. They'd never be able to take us out. But what they need to do is they have to create and empower a few people and put them in charge and put them in power to put the rest of us down. So I really would encourage everybody, all you Kanak out there, if you want to look and see and be really critical about what's happening, when your heart feels like it's breaking, I want you to know it's a scientific art of destruction, division, and oppression. It's, it is not, hasn't just come here in Hawaii. It's been used all over the world. It's the same pattern. And if we can learn that pattern, maybe we can learn to fight it. And even if our hearts are breaking in our chest to see our own people, people that we think are like people that we think are hard to move, people that we think who are going to come and stand by us side by side, shoulder to shoulder, to see them come and to try and take away our people, intimidate our people, and to stand side by side with the oppressor. We won't be surprised and we'll know how to deal with it. The computer class, that is what they're called. They are a native elite that negotiates, works with, and facilitates economic and political oppression. That's the only way that these types of things can happen. And if we are prepared for it and we realize it's going to happen, we can protect ourselves from that. So how do we protect ourselves from those that very action? How do we protect ourselves from not becoming the people who want, who are collaborating with the enemy? And I say the first thing that you need to do is you have to never think that you are not the person who is the comforter class. You must think that you can, ne you can, must never think that you can't sell out. You must never think that you won't be seduced because what do they do? They, they seduce you by giving you what they love, what you love. They seduce you by trying to uplift, you know, your, what is your fight? Oh, you want to protect Kalo. You want to protect Olelo. You want to like teach school children here. You know what? I'm going to give you money. I'm going to give you resources. I'm going to give you power. I'm going to give you respect. I'm going to give you validation. I'm going to give all of these gifts to you, all these things that the oppressor class rarely gives us. And they make us feel good and they make us feel wonderful and they make us think that we can somehow, through our own personal rise, our own personal improvement and betterment, that our whole people will rise. And they tell us that we have to be realistic, that you have to be practical, and that the people who are opposed to destruction of our planet and our communities and our resources, you know, they're just being divisive. If you never forget that you can co be co-opted at any one point, that nobody is immune, you have a chance of not being the being a comprador. If you, you fight it with all your might, if you always, when there's a choice between power and walking with the people, you choose to walk with the people. Always choose to walk with the people. And if you think that changing, fundamentally changing the system that we're looking at, fundamentally dismantling system of, of oppression, if you think that's going to be easy, if you think you're going to get rich off that, no, aole. They don't pay you to dismantle the system. They don't reward you for that. You have taken a vow of poverty. You've taken the pathway that's difficult. Because not only do you have to build for a new future, you also have to survive the current oppression. That's the reality. It's going to be hard. It's going to be massive sacrifices. And it's going to be very, very difficult. 
And even then, even then, there is no guarantee that you are not going to become the comprador class. Even then, you can be wooed. Even then, through vanity, ego, self-deception, and thinking that you are smarter than everybody else. That's how you're going to get seduced in. So what's another thing that you can do? You can divide and spread out the power as evenly as possible. Educate and uplift as many people around you as possible. If you ever find yourself to be making in a position to making loan decisions so that you don't, decisions that are not dependent upon the rights and the voices of the people, decisions that are not intertwined with listening to required being listening to the listening to the earth and how much we have to pay attention to the earth and our communities because our people and our and our lands are one it was the colonizer and the occupier who separated aina that was just stains all of us so if you start making fancy wheeling dealing political maneuvers and shenanigans without the consent of your people, then you become a part of the comprador class. And I love all of our people. I love even the ones who do this. Because nobody wants to believe that they're the evil one. Nobody wants to believe that they're the bad guy, right? A lot of them think that they're doing the best for all of us. But if you look, Coco Palms, today, that was a very, very bad thing. And the only way, the only way I don't let it break my heart is because I look at our young men and our young women who are on that front line, who held themselves with dignity and pride they're brothers, man. They wanted to throw down, crack down, slam down, take them out. You know? They come from the country. They're real. They're cool. I know. But you know what? They knew the Aina that they are from. They remained in discipline. They continued to have that ability to kuka kuka. They never lost their, their, their business. They pulled out their, 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 you know, their weapons of mass education, their kelaponas, <laughs> and, you know, educated everybody, even though in a really bizarre, very weird way, everybody, everybody's phone shut down. And for some reason, I was able to go and tap into it and get, make, get some interviews. But I'm so proud of you. And this is where my hope always I hope I'll always be eternal in my breast because I see you, Kia E. I see you, Alaina. And I love you very deeply. The time is coming. This planet burning up. All of you compadors, all those who would sell out the earth, sell out the land, sell out the people. For what? <laughs> Papa Hanau Moku is coming to teach her children a lesson. And we either have to care for her or we don't. Because a time of reckoning is coming. Yeah? So survive the present and prepare for the future. And if you're able to get to Lihue tomorrow on Kauai at 8.30 a.m., kako or alohaina. Because they're in a big fight. Big one. And they need every one of your hearts and your prayers to win. Aloha aina malamapono. Yo lahui o Hawaii. Malamapono. We help too. So, solutions can happen. Uncle, it's very deceiving when you show up with this howling. Right. That's right, bro. Very deceiving, Uncle. How you, you know expect what? us to trust you? I, 
Okay. You're the king, uncle. Okay. You're claiming king. How am I supposed to trust you if you never come see me for claim me and tell me hey, hey, I need help? I need help you before, brother. You know, for a howling. You come over here with a howling. You're I'm not racist, bro. I'm not racist. We're all the same. We're the people of the rainbow, brother. Yeah, We're never going to be racist. So when it, when you, hey, bro. Everybody, you know, it's meeting his Paul. You know, I don't see you calling your mother there. Brother, I know, yeah, but you know, stick all your and be prejudiced against I'm you. Me too, bro. Well, so what now? So what now? Is We're racist. I'm not racist, bro. Because I can't here. show up. You didn't have a chance to show up. Yeah, yeah when the guys ask me, <laughs> look at this brother. Again, I apologize for that. For Nobody Uncle. come see me. Uncle, look at these brothers. They look here for the past few years. Come on, come on, next time. Because then we don't know this problem, too. You know, you guys gotta understand. I want busy brother too. Working on all the islands, all in Polynesia. I'm not here sometimes, but I'm working for the people, brother. Hey, you like one hour knuckles with me against me? Go for it, bro. It's up to you. I helped you before. That's how you gonna help me? Well, come on then, bro. Well, stop talking howling over here because we're not talking racist right now. Right now, we got a solution. We gotta do. Understand that. Okay, I'm gonna let them do that. Then how come he's still working with him? That's what he likes. Yeah, that's what he likes. What about if we call this guy over and go, hey brother, he's gonna let this guy stay on the Aina and that is what he's gonna do with you. Okay, they gotta work around that after. You gotta understand, give a solution. The solution Just is let us work with this thing. So you guys don't have a problem, you guys get in the car. Because wherever you guys stay right now, I don't bother get freaked in this case. But you know what? He does not going to get some problem. I already got the word. Whatever, Uncle, guys, you prepare, fine. Mahalo for all the good work. But, bro, seriously. Not over yet. Well, this guy is don't let it be too late, Uncle. Don't let it be too late because I hear before Pau. It's not over You know, that's one reason why I hear too. Because I know already what the hell decisions he's making right now. And I got the word. Same side with the Believe enemy. Me. It is what it is. So since they're gonna lose in court, and you got the word supposedly, maybe we can come help. Jump bro. on a train with Tyler Green. Yeah. Jumping on nothing, bro. We. That's what it looks like. Finding one solution. That's what it looks like. You know how one solution works? Is both teams come together and work it out. Yeah. You, hey, not hey, only one side. Never have a solution. Oh, to you. Yeah, because to you, we've because seen you know, you are liar, bro. By your side, you know, at all. Well, we've you know what? Everything. You seen everything. You seen yeah. me get anointed, bro. How come you blind yeah. today? And you because too. And it's still going home, on today. I get one other meeting with the Royal Union next month on a six. You came home, you I changed. anointing and appointed two hundred something marshals from the White Taha tribe. You mean for yourself? Okay. I've been anointed else. at the White Tangi Marai last year by North Island and South Island. I've been busy, bro. I'm not only doing work here, I'm doing work out there, bro. If he wants to beat me, how you gonna do this? Do for you? You cannot Whatever you can do for Whatever you. Whatever it is. Whatever. I already spoke to Tyler Green. Whatever how far you guys go all these years, Mahalo Kia. I told him to stop. But I said, yeah, help me, you guys, bro. I'm gonna be here for help with some shit. He walk off in the sunset with Tyler Green. We're not gonna discuss anything. Like you. You know? I'm not gonna discuss things if come on solution. I'm all good. I'm all good. You be quiet, like I'll tell you be quiet. Oh, well, what it is is get the few guys together. We have a meeting so we can settle this thing. Yeah, not the yo yos. Yeah, that's it. The guys involved on the land. Not the ones that live west side and not, you know, have nothing to do with us. I still get tired to the land. My family is all in this Kani family. My family is the last one. And what? My family too? We all know how much. So how come you making like shh? Yes. Yes. Well, I know, I they know, but that's why it. we're all family. That's right, bro. Then how come we, how come we trying I'm to keep fighting, fighting bro? You cannot be racist the way we do. Because we're all brothers and sisters, bro. We're brothers. We're trying to keep doing it. What do we mean? This brother. Tell him about it. This brother. That's what we talk about. Our brother. 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 Our
Okay. 